This isn't sponsored. Ooh, bitch, that would have been bad if that spilled. <laughs> hey, girl. Hello, Pisces. My name is Simply Valka, and I'm going to be doing your general reading for this week. Ooh, apparently not, since if I can't hold down these cards. Uh, but like with any type of general reading, not everything may resonate with you. So I do ask you to rely on your intuition. You know, I like to speak in analogies with my type of readings, right? So I could be talking about a business situation, but in your situation, I'd be could, could you? It could be pertaining to love. Y'all, apo I apologize. I cannot speak apparently at this point. Um, but yeah, so if this reading is of resonance to you, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know which card resonates with you. I always like to know about that kind of stuff, right? I'm nosy. Um, and if this reading does give you a sense of direction and um, resonates with you, I'd love for you to give me a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a whole bunch. And I would just be grateful for that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be pulling three, car uh, three different rows for you, uh, Pisces. And then... Uh, for each of the rows, the first row is going to be on the energies that you have been currently dealing with. Your second row is going to be the blessings and the energy to come. And then for your third row, it's going to be suggestions from spirit on like what you need to do to get to these energies, to receive your blessings. And just like overall, just suggestions from spirit of what to be working on this week. Um, and so yeah, let's just get into this reading. The judgment card really wanted to come out for y'all for sure. Um, so let's get into your first row right now, Pisces. So for your first row, we have the King of Air, the Knight of Earth, and the Moon card, which is number 18, which would equal into nine for numerology, Pisces. So write that down. Um, so let's get into this. The King of Air talks about speaking your mind with confidence. This is someone that is just sure of themselves. I feel like you are the King of Air, Pisces. I'm going to read off the card. Speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice. Balance mental and emotional considerations. I don't know what this is. Um, yeah, I feel like this is you. This is the energy that you're owning at this point. Um, the Knight of Earth talks about time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments and a guardian angel. And I feel like whenever this guardian, it's always funny whenever this card comes up, there's usually an archangel that comes forward as well with this card. Um, so I feel like for some people, it's going to be the Archangel Haniel that you that you should work with this week if you feel so called to working with an archangel that is in your belief system. But what I'm processing with this, with the Knight of Earth, when it's talking about like these two cards right here, this is good energy. I feel like you're in good energy right now, Pisces. You're in the energy of someone that's just... <sighs> laying down the groundwork really right and the moon card comes in as like a i feel like this is more so asking you to just like own owning more of your energy almost because i know for a lot of people they would view the moon card as like something being revealed to you for this for this deck in specific this card i'm going to read off the card for this one as well because why not important psychic insights events behind the scenes release the fears that hold you back um, I feel like for you and your situation, Pisces, it's really more so talking about um, really just overall just asking you to push more of this king energy, um, king of air energy, asking you to really like adopt more of this energy, make space for this energy, perhaps, yeah, heavily making space for this energy and just owning more of your own powerful energy. It's almost as if like you were asking to be more independent right now um or you're wanting to be more independent right now pisces because we have the five of swords so you're walking away from something or you're wanting to move on from something paired with the a of cups so two different cards of where you're wanting to walk away from something or someone or a situation you're wanting to move on from something very heavy moving on energy and what are you moving on to you're moving on to the nine of wands energy you're claiming your power you're wanting it's almost as if like you want to get out of your own comfortable environment so you can like you're leaving your comfortable environment so you can go to somewhere new to really practice your talents and really like challenge yourself you never felt challenged before because you've always just had a bunch of people around you um so yeah this is really just like this is like a week where it's like i feel like you're just kind of like in this process of just like figuring out your way right now pisces you're just figuring out like where you fit in the whole scheme of the world <laughs> if that's even a sentence um yeah you're just trying to figure out your place right now i feel Let's see if there's any uh, animal oracle cards I can pull from you. But um, going on for so it's really just like straightforward energy for your first row, which is actually kind of refreshing. Um, I don't really feel like I need to break too much down. And just overall, like I feel like for a lot of cancers, if you're wondering if you're on the right cancers, 
I hope I'm not been calling you cancers, Pisces. For a lot of Pisces, this first row, like I would take this as like an affirmation that you're on the right path. The grouse card comes forward where it's talking about expressing yourself. Uh, we're gonna pull a couple other animal cards because I feel like it needs to play off with something. Let's see. The ladybug time. This is a time of good fortune and abundance. So be willing to receive all the good things in your life. Maybe this talking about creative pursuits i feel like definitely let me know in the comments below pisces if you guys are working on any creative projects because with the grouse card and the ladybug card this is kind of like giving their spirits giving you, you someone's giving like their blessing in terms of being like do this and doing something creatively it's almost like what I, and when i say creative project i kind of mean i mean for some people i guess it would be like writing but i really don't feel it in that way i feel like it's just some type of uh well, let me not limit it and not say that it's writing. I just feel like it's some type of expression of some sort. So even if like this type of creative pursuit is not gonna necessarily get you any money per se, you're still being pushed by spirits to do some type of creative expression, if not just to have as like a simple out emotional outlet. Um, yeah, so for your second row, let's get into it. We have the, how many wands is this? Six of wands, I cannot count. We have the Six of Wands with the Page of Wands with the Page of Coins. So really good cards right now. This is such new energy. This is such like you're going into new territory. You're explore like it's going, it's through you exploring your talents. It's through you exploring like your creative pursuits, Pisces. It's through you just figuring yourself out and like leaving what's currently known to you just to explore is that's how you're going to get to your abundance, I'm feeling. That's how you're going to get to this like good energy because you have the page of wands and the page of coins. The wands represents like a passion of some sort, like it's just very passionate energy. And I feel like when I say, when I, okay, I feel like I need to clarify whenever I say passion. I associate passion because I'm just, an, I'm, I function off of passion. I associate passion just with like creative pursuits. So that's what I, what I mean when I say passion. But it's also like just like it's something that just drives you, you know, if like your workplace drives you like it's just like an overall drive, but that's linked to getting you some type of abundance. You know, when it talks about page of coins, obviously the first thing that comes to mind is financial abundance. But for some people, this could be a situation where it comes to just like a good relationship, you know. This could be just like you're going into new territory with a new relationship, which could just be like a, I don't see anything long term per se, but I do definitely see that kind of potential with the Six of Swords, uh, Wands energy as well, where it's just like, not only could it be like a collaborative energy in terms of like creative career pursuits, but it also just could be like a situation where it's just like, you could have your pick of a few people um, in terms of like a romantic pursuit, if you so wanted to. Like, I feel like it'd be like a profitable, profitable, I feel like it'd be a good time for that, um, for you Pisces, but I almost feel like I don't, I want to just kind of say off of instinct that since the energies of like a relationship aren't coming too potently in this reading, I almost want to say like, it's not going to be anything like serious, or at least that's not going to be the theme of the energy this week right now for you is some, some type of relationship. Um, clarifiers I pulled for you, King of Earth, so definitely finances, Seven of Air, Seven of Water. Two different sevens coming in, so generally lucky numbers. Um, the King of Earth comes in where it's just kind of like giving more affirmation of like the Midas touch that's like, which is kind of like the energy of what we're already having with the Page of Wands and the Page of Coins coming in. But it's interesting with the Seven of Water and Air because it's like a, you're being asked to stop procrastinating with the Seven of Water, but the Seven of Air comes in talking about plans need revising and allowing more time before making a decision. <sighs> so it's like, what was the decision here? Or is there procrast- like, is, where is this procrastination coming in at, Pisces? Is it like procrastinating to get to this point? Is it like, what's going on with that? What's the tea with that, Pisces? Let's see if we can get any more clarifier. Is this, is this like the same energy or is this like, how do we, how do we deep dive into this a little bit? Pull the world, world card, High Priestess, and the Ace of Wands.
cards. The world card, the high priestess, and the ace of wands. Paired with the seven of air and the seven of water. If you're needing to not procrastinate anymore. So it's... Okay. But with the ace of wands coming in, it's almost as if like you don't want to do this decision. Okay, now it's making sense to me. It's like you don't want to commit to doing... For some people... Pisces, it's almost as if like you either don't want to move on from something, like you don't want to commit to doing like this new venture, this new creative pursuit, um, and you're not claiming this power, you're like ignoring your intuition, which is, yeah, this is what, how it's coming out is like you're ignoring your intuition on what it is, and so it's like, you need to like go forward with this, and I feel like the only reason why like you need to do revision Right now, I feel like that's the energy of what it is that you need to do, that of what you need to address. It's like the energy of like the sense of direction of where it is that you're going now. It's like now, like you need to like kind of readjust a little bit. Because keep in mind, this whole spread, this second row is like blessings to come. So it's like the only way to get to these blessings. I know I said I would wait until your third row for that, but I feel like this is kind of like how it's kind of steering into where it's just like, you're not going to be able to claim this Ace of Wands energy until you make that little adjustment until you start listening to your intuition a little bit. You're not going to get there if you keep ignoring your intuition. Um, interesting. So I also pulled the world card and that's like, I just feel like that's, yeah, it's all just so inter intertwined where it's just like directly linked to you kind of just putting yourself out there. And that's kind of like a, it has me wondering. It's like, why are you doubting this King of Air energy? And you have the King of Earth coming in. It's like, do you not realize your own potential, Pisces? I mean, that's just like my own personal observation, but it's just like, it's not making sense. These cards are adding up, like I'm seeing this energy, but what it's also telling me, it's also, it just doesn't make sense, right? It's like, because it's, it's almost as if like, you don't know your potential. It's like, you're doing it, but you don't realize you're doing it sort of thing. Um, so for your last row, we have the Six of Swords, your Two of Cups, and the Judgment card. So the Six of Swords and the Two of Cups, this is kind of like a warning, and the Judgment card. Pisces, be careful with who you interact with this week. That's really all I'm going to say. Not that it's going to necessarily be, like, super bad. Just be aware. Pay attention to people. Pay attention to their intentions. Just pay attention in general. Like, because it's like you have very profitable energies and profitable energies you have very good energies right now like you kind of you are on like a good track you need to do a little bit of adjusting dare i say like it's your environment and like people around you that are kind of like either limiting you or making you feel limited or like keeping you down a path where that's not in quite fulfillment with you sort of thing because you have to do judgment card comes in where it's just kind of like a I take this as kind of like a sign of where it's just like, if you continue down some type of routine, judgment day is going to come where it's just like spirits going to put their hand down and be like, Hey, like, okay, enough's enough. Stop ignoring us sort of thing. Like we've tried to like put as many red flags as you can, but you keep on ignoring it. So now we're going to have like a tower breaking moment for you. Um, that sounds really dramatic, but like, that's just kind of how I'm processing this message where it's just like, there's something in your life that like a pattern keeps happening repeatedly. And if you continue it, <laughs> then it's like the spirit's going to take matters into their own hands, which it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. If you can't think of the situation right now, Pisces, I feel like that's completely okay. I feel like this is more so just like a heads up as well, where it's just like, if you feel like you're stuck right now, if you're not actively making taking those forward steps, spirit's going to intervene at some point and help push you along. Angel assistance. This is <laughs> uh, I love this. I love this. I love this because we had you guys come on oh, the beginning. We had the Knight of Earth talking about a guardian angel. So when we have the angel assistance card with what I was just talking about, come on, Pisces. Mm. This is what I was saying. Like, I don't think it's inherently bad if you don't see it coming. If you don't know what your pattern is, truly aware your judgment day is coming. Like, I don't, like, it sounds dramatic, right? It sounds extremely dramatic, but I don't mean it in that way. It's just like, any kind of like, especially this week, if you're dealing with some obstacles, take it as like it's angel assistance rather than as it being a bad thing. Allow it to really like, be very flowy this week. Be flexible this week, Pisces. And I promise you things will work out for you pretty good. 
Um, but yeah, Pisces, that's the reading that I have for you. Thank you for allowing me to do that reading for you. It's actually such a joy and being able to like have that moment right at the end, the angel assistance and the night of earth. Oh my gosh. Can someone else, can y'all just gush with me in the comments about it? Can we just appreciate that moment together? Uh, am I the only one that had goosebumps about that? Probably because I'm a nerd. <laughs> but yeah, I love you so much, Pisces. Thank you for allowing me to do this. Remember to please give me a like and subscribe if you do enjoy this reading and it give you a sense of direction. I would love to know. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to allow, to be allowed to do another reading for you at some point, hopefully in the future. I love you so much, Pisces.